Welcome to Hack Chat. We're going to talk about egg hacks. I don't think I did it right. So today we're going to try out some hacks. I'm going to test them. I'm going to rate them and I'm going to see whether they work. Let's take a look at some egg hacks. The first one that I'm going to try is basically like instead of cracking an egg in the normal way, you just throw it in the pan. Here we go. <laughs> that totally didn't work. I think that's a user error. <laughs> I don't think I did it right. You can't just throw it in. You have to just gently drop it in. Okay, so that one was stressful and there's a piece of shell. I feel like I've been tricked. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not mad at you, I'm mad at myself for believing in it. I just don't think it's worth it. I think really like cracking it in the traditional way and putting it in the pan is better. In terms of time savings, I would give this like a zero because it actually took more time to get the shell out. On a scale of one to 10 as a hack, I give this hack a two because there are worse hacks in the world. This is about peeling eggs. Nobody really likes peeling hard boiled eggs. Sometimes the shells just like are clinging to the egg for dear life. We're gonna try the hack where you shake the eggs, the hard boiled eggs in a bucket of water. You have the water slowing down the eggs and you have the ice cracking the eggs from all directions. Let's try it with the towel. I feel like I just ran up four flights of stairs. What? This just slipped off. It literally slid off. This is a completely naked egg. I don't, can anybody hear this? You know, it's really the simple pleasures. This technique, is it better at peeling eggs? Maybe. Is there water all over my kitchen? Yes. For saving time, I give this one a four. For overall, I give this one it's really a five because when was the last time you said it was really fun to peel a hard boiled egg? For exercise, I give this one a five because I don't even need to go running. Okay, this hack is a classic. This is separating yolks. Using a bottle, get a water bottle. It's gotta be flexible, plastic, not glass. And you squeeze it. And then this is, I guess, gonna suck the yolk into the bottle. Whoa. It's like incredibly satisfying. Okay, so that, this really works. This works so much better than what I thought would happen. Okay, so I broke the yolk. I don't know how I feel about that. If I put this bottle back into here, it's gonna ruin the whites of my egg for meringue, which is why you're separating it most of the time. So can I do it without cleaning the bottle? I don't think so. I can't, I'm gonna do it. All right, I did it. I just, I just did it sort of like jumping off a cliff into cold water. There's like a teeny little bit of yolk in here that might ruin my meringue. I totally recommend it. You know why? Because I recommend fun. This hack is a five on a scale of fun. Usefulness, it's like a three. Separating eggs the real way is a little bit more efficient. But you know, if you have a bottle and you need to separate some eggs, I'd say do it. So next, I'm gonna try out the stopping the drip hack. So it's basically like how to stop a drip from when you scramble an egg and then you put it on the counter and then you get a drip on your counter. Is that really a serious problem? I hope so for your sake, because if that's your worst problem, your life is incredibly good. Let's try it. Okay, pouring. Okay, continuing. Okay, the drip dangling. I don't know if you can see it. All right, this is hurt, hurts a little bit, but look, okay, so there we go. No drip, it's completely dry. On a scale of like flashiness, this is like a one because it's really not a very flashy hack. I'm sorry, it's a little bit frumpy, but it's just so practical. But I give the hack an overall four because it's solid. It uses gravity. doesn't use any extra resources and it works. 
I have some shells in my bowl. I am going to try to get them out. There's a couple different ways to do it. One of the ways is with the shell. One of the ways is to wet your finger. And then another one that I just learned about is to just pour the whole thing through a strainer. All right, so the first one I'm gonna try is the eggshell. They're rough and they're like breaking through the sliminess of the egg white. Yeah, this is working. Getting the shells out of the bowl, method two. I'm dipping my finger in water. You gotta get the wetness on your finger and just go for the shell. No, that totally didn't work. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Dip. Okay, I got that one. I think this just requires a really direct approach. You just dip it in, you stab it. It's, it's literally less slippery with the water on your finger. This is a good hack. So another egg straining technique that I saw on the internet is to strain them. And obviously this only works if you've scrambled them. It really does seem like desperation more than a hack. So I scrambled it with the shells in there. And now I'm gonna strain it. I have to say, I think this, this really is just call, entitled like using a strainer. There's no eggshell in here in the bowl, but now I have to use a different tool to get the rest of the egg out of here. Okay, let's just, let's, okay, we, we just, we have to talk. This is not smart, it's not good. I have a dirty spatula, I have a dirty strainer, I have another dirty bowl, and there's still a shell stuck to my spatula. I just give this a no. On a scale of one to five, I give it a no. This is just, this just is infuriating. Don't ever do this. Don't, just eat the shells. It's really literally better. The second method is, is dipping your finger in water. Totally nice. It's actually a little bit better than just dipping your finger into the egg to try to catch the little slippery egg pieces because the water for some reason just makes your finger more grippy. But my favorite is using the eggshell. On a scale of one to five for smartness, I give the shell method a, a five. It's like completely the best out of all three ways. I love that technique. You're already holding the shell. You put it in, just like use what happened that went wrong. It's like rolling back history. The water one on a, sc on a scale of, why is this a hack? <laughs> I give it a five. Everybody wins. Here's what we learned today. We learned that there are some egg hacks that work and there are some egg hacks that are just hype. The best one of the bunch is shaking hard boiled eggs in a container filled with ice water. And the reason is because it's perfect. It was flawless. Nothing went wrong. The eggs came out perfectly. It saved time. It didn't take really any extra resources and it was really, really fun. The least good hack I would say is straining out shells with a strainer. I just would rather not talk about that one. Okay, is there a hack that makes you scream with happiness? Is there one that makes you scream with rage? I wanna hear about both of them in the comments below because I wanna try them out. Make sure you subscribe to the Spruce Eats for new videos every week.